Hello and welcome back to video two. This is video two. So if you missed video one where we spoke about how to break the self-sabotage pattern that happens over and over and over again and how to break through that glass ceiling once and for all, then make sure you go and watch video one. Today, we're gonna to be talking about stop sacrificing yourself. So the first thing I'd like you to just sit and pay attention to is what have you sacrificed on the way to creating your financial abundant life? How often are you with your kids? How is your relationship with your husband and wife? How, how well are you sleeping? What's your health condition? Have you sacrificed these things in order to achieve some sort of financial goal that you most likely don't even know why? Whether it's chasing the big house or the fancy car or the amazing vacations or the jewelry or the watches or the whatever because society and culture and marketing tells you that that's what it means to be a successful man or woman. Think about that for a second. Let that sink in. Well, I'm going to show you an amazing exercise at the end of this to really start to unpack some of this stuff. First thing I want to talk today about is the difference in energy and frequency between the word sacrifice and the word abundance. Even without me explaining, you could probably start to gather there's a different energy there, right? So first, let's look at sacrifice. Sacrifice. Think in, in essence, what's happening when you sacrifice. Let's use diet, for example. People go on these crazy, extreme diets. I'm gonna cut out all sugar, I'm gonna cut out all carbs, I'm gonna cut out all this and this and this. And then they sit down to eat, and the entire time, all they're thinking about is, I'm sacrificing this, I'm sacrificing that. I'm like, how long could you sustain a life, even in diet, let's say, where you constantly feel like you're sacrificing something? How long can you stay in a relationship where you feel like you're sacrificing a piece of you or a part of you? Not very long. You know why? Because the energy of sacrifice is a killer. Now, here's the irony of all of this. You don't even know why, but you're out there trying to build this big dream. I want to get to seven figures. I want to get to eight figures. And you sacrifice everything else in order to do that. Now here's the funny part, you're out there driving this massive goal, say in the area of money. Underneath all of that is this feeling like you're sacrificing a piece of yourself. So basically what you've started to create is this dichotomy, it's this tension between your heart and what your heart desires and what your ego is telling you to go to do. Have you ever noticed it doesn't matter how much stuff you give the ego? It's never fulfilled. There's always the next thing. Oh, you got the house? Okay, time to, to work for the bigger house. Oh, you got that car? Okay, what are we getting next? Oh, you took this vacation? Okay, well, how are we gonna up it on the next one? It never ends. Now, I wanna share with you a really simple story about abundance and my family. We recently took our kids to a Broadway show, Aladdin. They were actually uh, in a play themselves doing Aladdin, so we thought it'd be a cool thing, and it was their first Broadway show. So we had this amazing weekend planned where we went into the city, they had a birthday party in the city, then we went to Central Park and we spent time there, then they had dinner with friends. We went, Next day we took them to Times Square and then to this Broadway show and then to dinner and all this stuff. So at the end of this amazing weekend of all these firsts, we sit down where we spent you know, a good amount of money. Broadway shows aren't cheap these days. Um, we sit down and ask them, you know, what was your favorite part of the weekend? What do you think it was? My son says, throwing the ball with you at Central Park. My daughter says, lying down with you on a blanket at Central Park. How much money do you think that experience cost me? That much. Zero. Study after study shows that your kids are not interested in the money that you have or the stuff that you buy them. What they're interested in is the quality time that they get to spend with you. They did a survey of athletes and they asked them, why did you work so hard for the 15 minutes they got to ride in the car with their parents? That was the only time they got to spend with them. That's why they dedicated themselves to that. Think about that for a second. So we amass all of this stuff 
Guess what, by the way? Not a secret, you can't take it with you. The hearse doesn't come with a U-Haul. So why is the question? So that's the energy of sacrifice, right? Abundance, what is the energy around abundance? Abundance is when one is in full alignment, where the heart and the mind are aligned and working to achieve massive goals. You've done this in your life. Every story that you have right now about this magical happenstance that happened, the perfect partner showed up, I met my wife in the most amazing ways, the money came from this place, I couldn't even believe it. Every time that story you share, that's because you were in abundance energy. Now the thing is, most people live in abundance energy by happenstance, a coincidence, an unconscious miracle. Abundance Masterclass is all about how do you get to live in that state, consciously and aware all the time. So the things that you call magic become the normal way that you live life. Clients show up, money shows up, opportunities show up. You get to work less and receive more in that state than you can even imagine. Think of the things that have happened in your life when you were in that state. Did you work really hard to create them? Or did they show up effortlessly and easily and gracefully? Probably the latter, right? But we drive and force and manipulate so hard to achieve goals that we set for ourselves based on what? Did you ever just stop and think, what or why am I doing what I'm doing? So that's the exercise I wanna share with you, okay? First part of the exercise is this. Get related in your life. Why? Get related in your life and say, what are the things that I am sacrificing in my life? And get honest. Are you sacrificing your health? Are you sacrificing your children, time with your children? Are you sacrificing your relationship with your husband or wife? When was the last time you've been on a vacation? How is your spiritual practice, meditation practice? What are you doing to be creative? All of these areas, just take a list, right? What am I sacrificing? And then once you get that list and you already have like, okay, here are the goals I'm going for, ask yourself why. Just sit there and ask yourself why for a bit. You know, I can't tell you how many people I coach and the reason they wanna build a seven figure business is because they wanna prove their mom or dad right or wrong. They wanna prove that teacher right or wrong. They saw this guy when they were 13 and that guy was building this business and all of a sudden they got it in their head that that's what they want to do. They saw a movie, they saw a commercial, they had a friend, right? Like, if you actually stop the, is this the thing that I chose to do? Or is this kind of like impregnated with and now I'm living somebody else's life? At some point, when you're not sleeping at night, there's a thing, a battle happening between your heart and your mind because your heart wants to be fulfilled and wants to be happy. It wants to be healthy and it wants to be in love. But the mind keeps telling it, go get me this and go get me that and go get me this and go get me that. Well, at some point you're gonna wake up and go, shut up, I can't deal with this anymore. There's gotta be a better way. And the better way is this. It's to tap into that energy, to stop living in a place where you sacrifice yourself. So what are the things you're sacrificing and then why? Just start to be in an inquiry. Why do I do the things that I do? Why am I living this life? Why am I pushing myself so hard and sacrificing myself? You're gonna find some amazing things that you get to unpack while you do that exercise. All right, hopefully that resonated with you. I'm really enjoying making these videos for you, so I hope you're enjoying watching them and have an amazing day. I'll see you in video three.